おはようねみなさん。僕の名前はゼコキョウです。君たちのバーチャー先生。どうぞよろしくお願いします。Hi everyone, my name is Seko Kyo, your virtual lecturer. Nice to meet you. Welcome to COS 30,043 Lecture 6. Today we're going to have a short lecture about more bootstrap design and how to modify the look by using CSS. Alright, actually, let's stop messing around. So, this week we'll be talking about revisiting design consideration.、Uh, mostly it's about、uh, bootstrap and how to use CSS as well to manipulate how the bootstrap output in the end l o o k like. Alright, so we have different content this week. We have、uh, device sizes, typography, aka font, code, or like how to put block code inside your、uh, website. Put images, how to put table, how to create landing page, and how to put navigation bar on your web page. So, device sizes. So, for device sizes, meaning that、uh, you can use class equal to container to put the similar contain together so it won't move around. Especially, like for example, if you have an online Shopping website, you have like different t y p e of i t e m You can put all of the i t e m inside one container so, so the i t e m won't fly i n g around, especially when the device sizes change. Okay, you also need to note that containers are not nestable by default. And then with mobile first, one n e e d to ensure that content with the same context are grouped together, as what I said just now. You can either rely on bootstrap stacking the element or prepare separate design layout for different device sizes. So, for this one, I will also show you how to do it inside the demonstration code. So, let's go to our demonstration code for a bit. Alright, this is the example code that I will provide to you inside your canvas for this week's、uh, lecture. So,、um, this time you have a container to put the Navigation bar together. I put this navigation bar together inside a container so we will,、uh, it won't be moving around. Alright, so what does it mean by、um, separate design layout for different device sizes? So for this one, like as you can see, I have hidden MD, hidden SM, and hidden XS, and the other view for navigation is the same thing but a different type of view. So this one is hidden LG. Basically, it's like this, all right.、Uh, without using AngularJS, Angular、uh, NGA for like NG view, for this one, I hide this when the view becomes smaller, and then I hide this when the view is big, all right. Let me show you what I mean by that. All right, the first one is like this when the view is big. Let me show you. It's basically just link. Right, header on the left, which is the COS 30043 over here. All right, and then this is your nav bar、uh, right over here, hidden MD, SM, and XS. All right, so when it、uh, becomes smaller, so we hide this thing. When it becomes smaller, let me show you and show this thing. All right, what is this thing? This thing is、uh, icon bar. Icon bar is the hamburger technique where you can put the hamburger thing over inside your website. So let's see. Make it smaller. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Look at how it's、uh, sized differently. After reaching certain threshold, the website over here, the display got. Hidden, all right, so and then it becomes smaller after certain threshold again, it will change to this thing and then display this thing, all right. So if you click this, you have aim, learning outcome, and if you click this, we have more expansion over here for the drop down bar, all right. So that's how to manipulate uh, stuff in uh, for different. Device、uh, screen sizes. How about typography? 
Okay, uh, this one you all have been using for a while now, like HTML headings, hash one to hash six, uh, styled in Bootstrap. So basically, it means like, uh, if you have Bootstrap installed and linked to your HTML file, you have the preset for the Bootstrap. You can use the class lead to emphasize a paragraph. This will produce a larger font size, lighter weight, and taller line height. Example over here. All right, there's a uh, different type of uh, emphasis uh, that you can use, emphasis that you can use. Let me show you. All right, inside your demonstration file, you can scroll until the end. Around here. All right, we have our, uh, let's see, text-success, text-info, text-warning, text-danger. So how does that look like inside the website it will look like this let me just enlarge this for a bit so you all can see it easily scroll down and then you can see this this is the typography all right for the text emphasis this is how you do it and then we also have typography abbreviation ABBR I don't know how to pronounce that it's used to mark up every abbreviation or acronym like HTML or CSS bootstrap style with light dotted border along the bottom and reveal the full tag on hover all right let me see all right this is how you do it ABBR title hypertext markup language and HTML cascading style all right, let me show you inside the demonstration file. All right, we have our abbreviation over here. So we have our ABBR title like this, and you close it like this. And then let me show you inside your website, all right, inside the website that I created. All right, you see this HTML and CSS. Others H3 over here. So if you hover, it will show you the full word, all right? All right. Next, we have a uh, typography for address. Address is used to display the contact information. You also need to note that address default to display block. So you need to use break tag to add line break to the enclosed address tag. Or you can also use uh, something like um, div class like this to manage the um, context, how it displays. So we have this over here. So let me show you how it looks like inside the website. It's over here. All right. So that's how you add address, uh, use address tag inside your website. So some of you may ask, is it default color this way? No. All right. For example, here you have your um, container footer, like for footer. We have our color and all that over here as well and address color is for the font color background color is for the background of this one all right next is block quotes block quote is used to mark up quoted text and small tag is used for identifying a source of the code we have it over here all right we have small and then my name and then site title all right let me show you again it's over here you see, this is uh, small in the site title. I'm the bone of my sword. Steel is my body and fire is my blood. I have created over a thousand blades, unknown to death, nor to life. Have withstood pain to create many weapons. Yet this hand will never hold anything. So as I pray, unlimited blood walks. A list you know how to do a list I guess so we move down to code I didn't add example for the code but then like it will appear something like this for example your github or like your uh, stack overflow uh, uses this one as well to show codes you may try it uh, inside your website next time images class uh, e IMG is used to apply style on images like IMG rounded at border radius at rounded by uh, border circle border and like thumbnail add a bit of padding and gray background all right you can try this as well images table layout this is what you use for the past uh, few 
uh, test. Some of you already learned how to style it yourself as well. Some of it really look nice. Congratulations on that. I'm very proud of you. You have table, hover. This is very useful to apply a light gray background when you cur uh, your cursor over hover over the table. And you have something like this. This is your past task something previously. Or like credit task, I forgot. And then in table, you have contextual classes. It's used to change the background color of your table row and individual cell. So maybe you can use this danger for like, um, you know, like stuff that are like almost running out, or running out of stock, or like success for like success uh, purchase or something. I didn't include table inside your demo, so you have to try it yourself if you want to. So let's move to. Oh, let's show this one first. With wrapping, it will uh, wrap the uh, title, I mean like the content together if the screen becomes smaller. So you need to remember that. If not, then you will need side scrolling to view all of the thing. Uh, a lot of website, um, if it's mainly for desktop, uh, if you try to view it inside your um, mobile phone you cannot view all the table I tried some of the website that I really need to view on my phone few days ago and it still doesn't work I'm not gonna say to you which website but you do use it daily as well probably sometimes I ask you to submit something inside the website alright class jumbotron is used to increase the size of headings and add a lot of margin for landing page content so basically it's just making this kind of thing which is over here right let me show you again this thing is what they call jumbotron I added it like this alright this is my jumbotron over here so what do I have inside here I have a jumbotron and then a container for it and then I have a row so what is this row about I also use the changing uh, size changing method again first if it's like a large display I will just display it like this all right and then if I have the smaller display what happened what the differences is I do the break over here let me show you all right smaller display What happens if I don't have this break? You see? It will get, um, what is it called again? Disturbed by the uh, navigation bar over here. That's why like you can do different type of view like this by using um, hidden uh, properties. And then to make sure that the website look uh, correct when the size becomes smaller. Alright? There's different navigation uh, option that you can use as well. Uh, let me show you. For this one, navigation tab, you have nav, nav tabs, and then like class active, which one is the one that active on default, and then the link for the other tabs. For the pill type, it look like this. You have nav, nav pill, and then active one first, and so on. Vertical pills, it look like this. Basically, this is just a few options that you can try. When you try to code using bootstrap design. Justified uh, pills, different from this one. So, when it becomes smaller, it automatically stack when it's done. Alright. We have drop down is the one that I included inside uh, the demonstration file, which is this one. This is the normal drop down, right? And then we have our navigation bar over here, like how to do it. Basically, like first you're going to have your nav bar, nav bar default over here. Like you can, this one you can choose a position where you want to put it. Right for me, I put at the top of the website and then our role is navigation added to help with accessibility in the nav tag. All right, so you're going to have this. You can put container. You cannot uh, like you can just not put container. It's up to you as well, depending on how your website going to look in the end. So NAV like the nav 
tag will have at least two div element for the header where's my header all right all right header using class nav by header to the div element used to contain an app or site name in a anchor element with class navbar equal to brand f over here some people use like uh, images to show their brand or like the kind of anchor usually this thing is used to go to your main website basically your home page right so menu using class navbar nav nav over here we have here styling and unordered list for this one i have the uh unordered list Right, show you again this is a nav what happened to the navbar um the first one will be looking like this as i showed you just now previously this is the main logo thing and then this is the other one you see uh, we have navbar right over here this is navbar right and this is our navbar brand so the brand is styled in slightly larger text over here and then like if you want it to, to change color you use navbar inverse however for the navbar you see mine just now it is blue in color why because for this one for nav i have this background color why i use the exclamation mark important so this one it will override anything uh, basically will override the uh, css and then like apply these colors no matter what so next we have our navigation bar position so you can either choose like uh, at the bottom or at the top of your website for example i have at the top just now over here as you can see so let me see what happened if you change that to bottom then as you can see over here our nav bar suddenly become at the bottom of the website it will stuck over there all right and let's see what happened if we do this all right there you go some uh, website on your mobile devices use this because it's easier to touch uh using your phone it's easier to touch save this one first all right next one we have alignment either on the left or the right just now we have the right show you the bigger size we oh, yeah, had the right and then if you change it to nav bar left it'll move to here all right it depends on how you want to make your website look like there's a lot of element that you can use inside your nav bar for example the text the form where you can uh, something like click search like making search function and then the button navbar button over here right uh, this one is all related to the view that you can use inside the bootstrap basically you don't have to uh, really change all this css like add colors and everything or like look look at the website like this and then look at the css it's only basically coloring for me so what i have to do is just to like change my color make sure that my um code the iv and everything are uh, assigned properly all right what we have next yeah responsiveness all right navigation bar menu is collapsed into an icon when viewing the bar in a smaller devices for well, desktop this one and then a smaller window or mobile devices how to do that is over here all right this is how you create your hamburger button hamburger button button let me show you like what happened if you delete one of this pan class hamburger button you see over here this is the hamburger if you delete one of it uh, become like no bread or something all right so just basically span class icon bar to make it look like hamburger um i'm not sure if like you have to make it like this but then like people used to see this kind of icon as a more like drop down or like setting kind of icon so that's why we have this kind of thing this one or the arrows all right or right, there also one more thing that i want to show you which is 
which is over here we have our button explorer over here right button my button button lg all right button large over here so we have my button and the color so what happened if you hover it a background color transparent all right there you go let me make it larger you see transparent and it kind of look nice like that kind of like it uh let's see what we have more inside our lecture oh so actually that's about it so uh, after the tuition week we're going to talk about form apparently okay i must stop messing around before i get kicked off from the campus <laughs> thank you for viewing this week lecture next week there will be no class as it the tuition week i hope we'll be meeting again next time matane Yeah,